Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stump back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're finishing off Escape from Kakao Island number three, the 50 stamina 11 star event that's come out on OPTC Global for the final part of the 60th anniversary. So in today's video, we are finishing the last of the Chopper Man missions. And I do have three teams for you to satisfy the mono Psy requirement. So the three teams I have for you, the first team is actually very free to play friendly. It's a V3 Boa and Luffy Sanji hybrid team utilizing all free to play subs so v3 bow is our leader her super typing where she actually gives sire buff and removes block orbs is amazing because it doesn't trigger the final uh oven like captain switch ability it's very very annoying like not being able to use an attack boost you can use like characters to like extend the attack buff like um the free to play rebecca works well but i just I don't like doing stuff like that, man. I like trying to have, like, every single buff. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm weird like that. But Rebecca works very, very well to get around it. You can use stuff like super typings work great. Supports work great. Switch abilities work great. So there are ways around it. But it is just very finicky when trying to build teams, especially for the, like, the requirement where you need a chopper, carrot, Jinbei, Sanji, and, um, Beach. It's just very, very annoying. But this team does it very, very well as a free-to-play friendly team um we do have the new carrot she's god for this this content i have her literally on every single one of my teams i do have the support of the free to play pedro that came out in part two he's very very good next we have komarasaki she's amazing to remove damage reduction she can also use the flumpe support but the flumpe support isn't really essential it, it can help but like it's not it's not required at all next we've got luffy and Sa uh, not luffy and sanji we got sanji and zoro now because there's a sanji in the name this guy's actually boosted they're also a very good orb booster for sai so they work amazingly and then finally we have lin lin so lin lin is just incredible because you can carry the chain lock but obviously she's replaced with someone like shanks crew you can replace um zoro sanji with a, like a better orb booster and then komarasaki you can replace i don't know with another damage reduction remover if you guys have it but this team works very very well um, did it very, very comfortably. Uh, the next team I have is more of a whale-centric team. Uh, this team just said, screw you to the captain swap ability, and we just blast our way through it. We did get lucky and it switched to Shanks crew, but I'm like I said in the run, I feel like Robin and, um... Carrot would have been fine as Carrot is actually a three times captain for Psy and Robin is actually a 2.5 times captain for Psy. So you can reload the app if you don't get the character you want, but the leader on this team is Roger. Roger's a god, five times captain. We even stuffed this run up and we still actually managed to get it done. We are using a friend Luffy Sanji. We do have Shanks crew in this team to satisfy the super type requirement for Roger as well as give you a chain lock to stop the um, interrupt. We do have the Marco support on Shanks crew to make life easier on turn one. We are using the uh, VV support on um roger not probably not required actually like after like looking back at the run but definitely helps out uh robin is here to remove damage reduction she's an amazing rare recruit as you guys know but she can also use the bato support to remove paralysis um we've got carrot on the team you guys know how amazing carrot is for this particular piece of content she's literally on every single one of my teams and then finally we have mihawk perona their switch ability is great guaranteed conditional boost because there's two enemies full board of uh, block orb manipulation because the final stage has block orbs and we can actually use the flampe support to give our side units a or buff which is really really cool so this team actually worked very very well even though we did cop the captain switch i'd be interested to know if you can get it done with robin and um carrot i might actually test that but if you guys do uh, let me know in the comment section below and while you guys are down there consider smashing that like button and if you're new hit that subscribe button too because you know like why not right the final team is the team that I had in my previous video, actually, for the Chopper, Carrot, and Jinbei uh, variation. The downside to this team is, obviously, we do have this guy right here, or these guys and girls, uh, that is the Germa. This team doesn't function the way it does without this unit because of the captain swap mechanic. Um, I imagine they are replaceable with, like, V3 law, and then you can just sort of, like, again, cop the, cop the switch and hope that it gets, like, to V3 law. But otherwise, the other three characters can't really carry too much. Chopper may be able to as the leader, but on this team, we do have Rayleigh support, Pedro support, Neko support. The Rayleigh support is probably the only essential one on our Luffy Sanji. They're an absolute god for this content. They're just literally built for it. All of these teams actually use a friend Luffy Sanji, so that's very, very important. And finally, on this particular team, you can replace this chopper with like any other side chopper. He's just here just because he's a side chopper. He's the best side like chopper in the game, so why not bring him, right? This Jinbei as well, absolutely amazing for the final stage, but you could just use Shanks crew get the chain lock, carry that in if you don't have this guy. Um, but then you just can't satisfy both those requirements. So they're the teams. Um, the ship is the anniversary ship for all the runs that we've done. 
and Luffy Sanji as a friend captain. But that's enough about that. Let's hop in and let's get the runs done. All right, so for the first team, we have a V3 Boa and Luffy Sanji hybrid team, and we are rocking a full free-to-play sub team. So notable supports before we start, obviously, we do have Pedro on our carrot, and we do have Flampe on our uh, Comrade Saki. So all of the subs that we have here are actually free-to-play units, which is great. And V3 Boa, just with her super typing, providing the attack boost, is very easy to get around that mechanic that actually stops you from using attack boost. So using V3 Boa, like, as the mono side leader is actually very, very good for this content, as you just don't have to worry about that. So... As you guys know, at the beginning, we get four turns of removed sound effects or special effects. We're just going to blast our way through this first stage here. And that way, we can move on to the second stage. This team actually functioned fairly, fairly well. Um, you could probably bring the Liberal Hind if you want to, and then sort of just, like... Uh, use recovery orbs that just naturally form as I think Boa does Boa increase the chance of landing on recovery orbs I know V2 Snake Man does but I have to double check maybe she just makes them matching but on stage um, 2 we're going to use our Luffy Sanji special pretty much been doing that for every single run it just makes life so much easier to remove all of the hunger debuff the hunger debuff in my opinion um, I've said it in my other two videos as well um, it's it's very very cool I actually like the hunger debuff it just gives a whole nother dimension to the recovery orbs um, the whole guaranteed recovery orb mechanic that sort of come back into play with Luffy Sanji. I actually like it a lot. Healing's broken if you can, like, guarantee it. So on stage three, we come up against um, Barbaros and another one of uh, Big Bomb's daughters. Also, there are two cannoneers. So you basically just want to take out that chick in the front. If you don't, she's going to special bind you for four turns. But as you'll see with, like, a mono side team here, we can just fly through her HP nice and easily. The fact that Sanji and uh, Zoro actually boosted as well because it's a Sanji unit actually works very, very well as they're just going to output a lot of extra damage as well as Carrot being boosted. But you guys know the Carrot's boosted. She's been in literally every single one of the teams that I've put together. I think she's actually been in, like, every single one of the teams. I think that's, like, one team that she wasn't in. But it is what it is. On the next stage, we come up against a bunch of the uh, chess units. Now, these guys all have 10 HP, but they have a monstrous defense up. So just, as I've mentioned in all the other in all the other teams, just uh, make sure that you hit, like, your 10 hits and just try and kill as many as you can. You really want to get out of this stage in two turns. Otherwise, it just makes the, um, the turn counter a little bit finicky to get around, but it's not that big of a deal if you don't. Uh, you should be able to get out of here in two turns, even if you stuff up, like, hitting your attacks. But Luffy has a six-turn attack. Uh, Komurasaki and Carrot both have five, which is, they can just kill one of the two of them. And then, obviously, Luffy and one other unit will kill another one. And then, on the next turn, you can just finish off the rest. On stage five is where things start to get a little bit tricky. We come up against Perispero. Perispero has a butt-ton of HP. He's a thick-ass boy. Don't be fooled by, like, that fact that his HP is, like, lowered. He's very similar to Whitebeard in the Whitebeard uh, Garb Challenge. But he gives us Despair, which is great, because per per Perispero is going to remove that. He has three turns of damage reduction, so this is where Komurasaki is actually going to remove that as well. He also gives us four turns of Paralysis, which we can remove one turn with the Luffy Sanji switch ability. And with the Flampe support, we can actually get some matching orbs. Now, the Flampe support is not essential, as this is RNG about how much, like, hits you actually get. Now, I do get lucky, and I do actually get a couple shots. But it really doesn't matter too much how much damage you output there, as it's not essential if you take him out right there or right then. I actually, um, oh, actually, no, this isn't the run that I'm thinking of, but if you have to stall an extra turn, it's not the end of the world. Every every single turn, Perispero is going to bind our middle row for two turns. With the switch ability of Luffy Sanji, we can remove that last turn of bind, and now we can actually start doing damage to Perispero. The fact that we've removed the damage reduction is the big thing. The damage reduction is quite large, and you can't really do too much damage as we are only attacking with four units. So once again, he's going to bind our middle row. We can just switch with our Luffy Sanji once again, and then we can uh, use our Boa Special. You can use the Boa Special. Um, it's very, very handy, as it just helps us like not take damage. We're also going to be able to heal quite a bit, which is then going to go back into Boa's Captain ability, as well as um, the um, Hunger Debuff Limit Break that Luffy Sanji actually has. Just gives you a little bit extra damage. So once the... Um once the despair is gone, after the third turn, Perispero despairs our captains again. We can now take out Perispero nice and easily. I did uh, stay as Luffy, as I did have a meat orb, and that way I could just easily kill Perispero. But as I mentioned, if, as you can see, like I've got six turns left. Like if you need to take an extra turn, don't be afraid to if you need to, because um, you do have plenty of time to take out the rest of the fight. The sixteen turn counter is very very annoying, but it's not that drastic. Um, so the next stage, we come against Daifuku. He has five turns of threshold, and he does end of turn damage for 30 turns. He also gives us normal attacks only, which is very, very annoying. He's also going to give us a full board of unfavorable orbs, but this is where we can switch back into our Sanji unit. Use the Luffy Sanji special for an attack boost. We can use Carrot to 
give us an orb boost and remove the bind. And then we can finish it off with our Big Mom special. Using Big Mom here is uh, essential as you do want to carry in the chain lock into the next stage. If you don't, you're going to get three turns of chain lock and chain coefficient reduction. And it's very, very annoying to get around. It's very, very fiddly and it just nullifies pretty much all of your damage. On the final stage against uh, Smoothie and Oven, they're going to give us a full board of block orbs, and they're only going to let us use three specials. Now, if you use an attack boost on this stage, Oven's going to switch your captains. It's very, very annoying, but you'll see in the light, like in the next uh, team, that you can actually just... Don't, you don't actually have to worry about that if you are a bit of a whale. But with the super typing of Boa, we can obviously turn everyone into super types. We can use uh, the, the... What's it called? Sanji and Zoro special for an orb boost. And with that, using a mono side team, we can actually just cream pie both smoothie and oven just catches later so team worked very very well for it to play subs obviously you can replace like big mom with shanks crew you can use like a different orb booster like v3 uh law would work great carrot honestly i would just keep carrots literally on every single one of my teams is nuts On to the next team now, I'm using a Roger and Luffy Sanji hybrid team. Now, this team is a little bit whale. As you can see, I do have um, the Bardo support on my Robin. I do have the Flampe support on Mihawk Perona. I have the Makano support on Shanks Crew, and I have the uh, Rare Recruit, Limited Rare Recruit Vivi on Roger. Now, Bardo and Flampe are probably the only two that are actually essential. But having that extra color affinity at the end is quite nice. And I, I'm not sure is there, if, if there is another Psy, like a Psy color affinity booster. If there is, just use that instead. Um, but I just chucked it here just for a little bit extra damage. But it's really not that required, I guess, is the best way to put it. Just with that three times captain that Roger provides. I actually stuff this run up. I don't actually stall the extra turn that I need to to make sure that I can have Luffy Sanji uh, in there five times captain as well. So this team actually managed to clear it with me being an absolute spoon, as you guys are aware. So the team consists of Shanks Crew, Mihawk Prona, Summertime Robin, and Carrot once again. Carrot's just a god for this particular fight. Like, obviously she was built for the uh, Daifuku stage, so she's just she's just found her way onto literally every single one of the teams I've built. But she's free to play, which is great, so make sure you uh, max her out as much as you possibly can. So on stage two, we're going to use the Luffy Sanji special to get rid of that hunger debuff. We have five turns of the hunger and just using Luffy Sanji special here is just awesome because we can easily get it back by the end of the uh, fight. But if you actually like are uh, focusing on this run, I actually don't, but it's very easy to do because you can just take an extra turn on Perispero. No worries whatsoever. On stage three, we come up against Barbaros, two Cannoneers, and another one of Big Mom's daughters. We're just going to use all our switch abilities here. Uh, we still have a five times captain with Luffy Sanji, and just watch this chick in the front absolutely melt. If you don't kill her on turn one, she's going to give you four turns of special bind. And uh, Barbaros, if you don't kill him by the second turn, he's going to rotate all your orbs. Can give you super bomb orbs too, which is a little bit frustrating, but like with this team, like it's just no issue taking him out. Switch ability getting Shanks Crew's uh, extra 1.5 times attack, the negative effect with Mihawk Perona, and then the guaranteed meat orbs with uh, Luffy Sanji. Safe to say that this team has no issues taking this down whatsoever. On to the next stage, we come up against a bunch of chess pieces. They have a bunch of defense, which is very annoying, but they only have 10 HP, which means if you guys are good at your mathematics and know your character's uh, hit counters, you can easily get through this. And the best thing about Luffy and Sanji is Luffy has a six hit counter, Perona has a six hit counter, and then Carrot and Shanks all have five hits. So if you just combined Carrot and Shanks, you can kill one. Luffy and Robin, you can kill another. And then Prona and, and uh, Roger, you can kill the last one. So as long as you get out of here on two turns, that's all that really matters. Uh, they don't do too much damage, so don't worry about it. Just uh, make sure you kill them so you do have enough turns to finish off the rest of the fight. On stage five is where things get a little bit hairy. So we come up against Paris Barriers, three turns of damage reduction, and he gives us four turns of paralysis. This is where Bardo support is absolutely god tier. He removes three turns, then the switchability of Luffy Sanji removes the rest. And then with the special of uh, Robin, we can remove the damage reduction. Finally, we can just use our switch abilities and we just do a bot ton of damage to our boy Paris Barrow. As I mentioned though, I sort of did goofed here and I think I killed Paris Barrow in two turns. Where ideally you want to take three turns on Paris Barrow, or even just take an extra turn on the on the other fodder stages, I guess. Uh, like the turn with the, the chess pieces that have all the defense, you could take an extra turn there to take less damage. Um, that way you can actually get Luffy Sanji's special back at the end. Now, you don't really need that attack buff whatsoever, but it just means that you can be a five times multiplier for your captains. As with this particular team, we actually just cop the captain switch and we still managed to clear it. If you get Mihawk Perona or Shanks Crew as your captain, you're laughing. And in this particular video, I actually get Shanks Crew. But I feel like you probably still have the damage even if you have Carrot or Robin become your captains, as they're both mono side captains. 
As long as you have that Luffy Sanji at a five times multiply, you should be fine. Uh, up on the next stage, we come up against Daifuku. He has four turns of threshold and he has end of turn damage. Uh, we had binded on our captain for eight turns when we kill Perispero. And we have all negative orbs, which is a little bit frustrating. Now, this is where I actually realized that Luffy Sanji isn't going to be ready in time. And I just said, screw it. I'm going to go for it. So I switched with Luffy Sanji to remove one turn of the bind. Then I'm going to use the carrot special to remove the rest of the bind. Finally, we can just switch with all of our units and we can just kill per uh, Daifuku. You want to make sure that you use your Shanks crew special before you move on. Because you just want to like block that chain lock that uh, Smoothie and Oven give you when you go into the final stage. And if you actually have your Luffy Sanji special ready to go, you can actually use Luffy Sanji special here for more damage. Just guarantee the kill on uh, Daifuku there. Ideally, you want to be a full Psy team though. Because we are going to get a like a Psy or buff with Flumpe. But as you'll see with my Mihawk and Perona, I actually don't have that. But it's not the end of the world. So on the final stage, again, Smoothie and Oven. We're going to use the super typing of our Roger as we get block orbs. We want to remove those. We get three turns of chain coefficient reduction, and you can only use three specials. So this is where we use the Roger special for the three times attack, turning us into a five times multiplier. But then Oven is going to swap our captains. Now, we got lucky with Shank Screw. You can just reload the app, to be honest, if you want to, to like make sure that you are getting the right captain. But as I mentioned, I feel like with Robin and Carrot, like if you are in Luffy Sanji's dual form, you should be fine to actually take him take down these guys. As we do have color affinity, we do have um, an orb boost for our side. We have a chain lock, and like, like Carrot just melts sugar. And as you see, like we still have a whole unit to attack. So if we're in a five times multiply with Luffy Sanji, it's way more damage. Plus, you can sort of like reload the app to make sure that you get either Mihawk Perona or Shanks crew switched into your captains. But like I said, I feel like Carrot and Robin would do just fine too. So moving into the final team now, we do have a double Luffy Sanji team. Now this team was actually in one of my previous videos for the Jinbei, Carrot and Chopper mission. This uh, team actually has a full side team as well as utilizing three of the characters for the Chopper Man mission. So if you guys want to be super proactive and want to get like two Chopper Man missions done, this is the team for you guys. Now, unfortunately though, it does require Germa. Um, I know a lot of people didn't summon for Germa. I freaking love this unit, man. I think he's, I think the design of Germa is by far the best of the anniversary. I, I'm a big fan of Luffy Sanji, despite all the hate and stuff like that. I really like Luffy Sanji. Sweet three, I'm kind of like, yeah, you know. But um, Germa, Germa are like, easily my favorite the captain swap mechanic super effective against all types being a good old booster um can be a super type as a sub like it's just it's a lot of fun so as you guys know on stage two we are going to use the uh special of our luffy sanji to remove the hunger debuff now i'm a spoon and i actually miss all my greats there because of that stupid remove sound effects debuff it's the worst debuff in the game in my opinion i hate it so much just like makes playing the game so much harder <laughs> but it's not essential as uh, we do have like a mono Psy team. So as long as we can kill the uh, chick in the front, uh, we will be fine. She's going to give us four turns of special bind if you don't kill her. So you do want to try, try and take her out and then focus on Barbaros on the next turn. If you don't kill Barbaros on the second turn, like it's it's fine as well. I think we actually do on this run. But if you don't, he just rotates your orbs. He can give you bomb and super bomb orbs, but it's not that tricky to actually get around. But with Luffy Sanji being able to switch into a red unit as well, even though this is technically a mono side team, it um it just works really, really well. Next, we come up against the chess pieces. If you need to stall, like this is the turn to do it. Uh, just to try and get your Luffy Sanji special back, if you need it. Otherwise, if you're good at maths, you can figure out your hit counters as all these guys only have 10 HP. They have massive defense though, so you're not breaking their defense, so don't even try. Just let the hit counters do their work. Let them, let them run down and uh, just take them out in two turns. If you need to, though, as I mentioned, this is a good time to st this is a good turn to stall on. These guys can't, can't do too much damage, and I don't think they do too much if you just keep them alive. But let's move on to the next stage against Perispero, where things start to get a little bit, a little bit shaky. So against Perispero, he's going to despair our captains for five turns, and he gives us four turns of paralysis. This is where like double Luffy Sanji's god tier. But um, we do have the support of Rayleigh as well as Pedro. Pedro can remove the despair. Rayleigh removes um, paralysis, but Rayleigh also removes the. Um, despair as well so you don't really need to bring pedro if you don't want to um i just sort of chucked him on here to say well look if you don't have rayleigh like you can still bring like pedro to remove the bind and the despair but with the switch abilities of luffy and sanji you can just remove it with their switch abilities now unfortunately with this team we don't have a way to get around that damage reduction but as i mentioned with the switch abilities of luffy sanji you can consistently remove the bind that is inflicted every second turn and then when you get the despair, you can also remove that just with their switch abilities. So basically, we just want to stall out the uh, 
damage reduction, and but we do have Chopper here to keep us alive. Now, Chopper's literally just a placeholder for any Psy Chopper. I use Legend Chopper just because, like, he's the, the best Chopper in the game. <laughs> like, not even a question. And he can keep us alive on this particular stage against Paris Barrow if we need it. But as you see, like, we get to this particular stage fairly easily. And um, the fact that we need to stall out the damage reduction just helps us get our Luffy Sanji specials back. So with this particular team, as I was rambling on with the chess people, don't stall on them. Just just move on. On this third turn, Paris Barrow is going to give us Gloom on our captains for two turns. But again, just with the switch abilities of Luffy and Sanji, their switch ability, man, is just so damn strong. The ability to just remove, like, some of the most annoying debuffs in the game just with a switch ability is just... It's... Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. Um... Now that we've just seen, like, we've dropped down to a little bit of lower HP, we're going to switch with our Luffy Sanchez again to remove that bind, but we're also going to use that Chopper Special. The thing with the Chopper Special is, um, if they do, like, an end of turn, like, interrupts, like, after you kill them, the Chopper's healing will actually activate twice, which will easily put us above max HP. When we're above max HP, too, it's very, very nice, as we can actually get a much higher Captain ability from our Luffy and our Sanji units. So now that we've killed Paris Peris Burrow, he's going to bind our captain for eight turns. Goes down to four turns with sockets and preemptives, though. So not exactly the trickiest thing to, to bypass, especially with the free-to-play carrot that came out in part one of the anniversary. So on the next stage against Daifuku, we are going to switch with our Luffy Sanchi to remove one of the turns of bind. Then we can use the carrot special to remove the rest of the bind. She also gives us an orb buff, which is very, very handy. Uh, but the big thing is here is to remove the bind and the threshold that Daifuku has. Then we can use the special of our Luffy Sanji. I used my Luffy Sanji just because he was a red unit. As this team doesn't have, obviously being mono side technically, doesn't have any red units, which makes it a little bit harder to kill uh, Oven. But being super effective against all types with Germa helps out a butt ton. Like a butt ton. On the final stage against Smithy and Oven, Smithy is an int and Oven is a... Dex unit. You can only use three specials, and they give you three turns of chain coefficient reduction as well as chain lock. So this is where the side Jimbe is amazing. He can just remove those two easy claps. Then we can use our German special to become the captain. If we do that, we can activate an attack boost without worrying about smooth. Uh, sorry, ovens. Uh, captain in swap debuff. We can use the super typing of Germa to make our Psy units hit a lot harder, including the super effective against all types that Germa provides. Then we can get an attack buff with Luffy Sanji. Now, it's still going to trigger Oven, but he just can't physically change our captain. So this is where Germa was just built for it. But it's just still funny to me that Luffy Sanji is the GOAT unit for this particular piece of content. So with that, we can take out Smoothie. We can take out Oven. The last hit with Germa just does so much damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there and belt that like button. And if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. And for all you bloody legends that are already subscribers, consider becoming members today. But guys, most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. As always, I thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Lights!